Okay, another little quick video. A couple more planes I've gotten built. I did maiden my uh, first one the other day, and it actually flew really darn well. I haven't flown this one yet. I think I'm going to go out and fly it here in just a few minutes, so I wanted to get some video of it just in case it doesn't survive. This one uh, is supposed to be kind of a little pattern plane. I'm hoping maybe it'll even do a knife edge or something. Or I'm going to fly it today. I don't have tons of room, so I'm not going to get real crazy with it. I just want to see if it'll even fly. Got uh, four channels, pretty good size rudder, elevator, ailerons. I'm, I got a uh, 2200 motor, 2200 kV motor. I got one of my 1300 milliamp batteries in it right now for my uh, Radian because it balances really well with it and it's not real heavy. I was going to fly it with an 1800 milliamp battery I bought, but it seems. Uh, I have to kind of set the battery back up in here, otherwise it's a little nose heavy. If I set it down in front of my my uh, my hold down, my dollar rod for my hold down. If I set it down down in here, it seems a little nose heavy. So I'm going to try it with the 1300 milliamp the first time and see see what it does. I just today got a little 800 milliamp three cell in the mail, which I, I've got to put a plug on it. So. Otherwise, I'd be, I don't think that's heavy enough for this plane, though. I think I would end up being tail heavy with this one. But uh, I think I'm going to fly this one today. I'll try to get some video with my redneck hat cam. I'll try to do a better job than I did my last video because uh, I kept forgetting to move my head. You know, you start moving your eyes and then the camera's not moving. you got to got to keep your eyes straight and move your head. Move your head. So I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot that a few times, so the footage was not real good. I've got this one done, which I'm going to use the 800 in. And I've also got a couple 852 cells coming. I may try to fly this on a 2 cell. Oh, I forget what this is. I think it's a 22, 2300 kV motor. I don't even remember right now. Pulls pretty good. I plugged a three cell up to it, and just held it in my hand, and it it's, it pulls. So I may tr I may try this one on a two cell. This one I got to give a shout out to the guys at RA Cores because if you look over here, that is a RA Cores Combat Gremlin, which I've bought well, at least three of those things. It's a uh, solid foam core combat plane with a fully symmetrical airfoil which this one isn't this one isn't fully symmetrical of course but you can uh, <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty obvious where I got the inspiration for this little plane I so I gotta give a shout out to them guys because this is definitely a smaller little copy of the the combat gremlin I may fly that one tomorrow I may go ahead and try it on three cells and not wait on them two cell batteries to come but I, I got to put a plug on that battery and I'm not going to mess with it right now but I may I may go ahead and fly that one tomorrow that's that one's um of course Elevons it's a flying wing and it uh, does have a, a double tapered wing on it and I also have a double tapered wing on this one so it does it does taper back and then taper down to the tips a little bit so it does have a both of those planes have double tapered wings and this is the start of my next project which I just started on oh, yesterday or the day before I decided I was going to build me a little biplane so I started constructing some wings to see if I could get something that looked oops let's see if I could get something that looked like it might fly well, I'm going to make a little biplane which is which is a, what I actually ordered the little uh, two cell batteries for was this but I may try it in that little gremlin that I built but I actually bought the, the two cells for this little biplane I'm building I've got a little 20 gram hextronic motor coming that I'm going to put in that when it's done oh and a little update if you happen to see the see the video of this one flying I flew this a couple days ago which flew really well 
when I when I got ready to, to uh, take it all apart at the end of the day, I, I only flew one battery out of it, and I only used 550 milliamps. But when I was taking the uh, wing off of it and stuff, and you can hear it in the, on the camera, you can hear the one of the servos jittering. Well, I was originally going to just belly this in the grass, and I decided to put some wheels on it in case I ever got a chance to fly off some pavement. So the, the parking lot was empty over there at the park. I guess the little league's all done for the year and everything. There's nobody over there. So I decided to put the wheels on it and take it off of the pavement. Well, I didn't realize when I put the wheels on how, how much that dropped the tail of it sitting on the wheels. And while I had my uh, horn here was actually just slightly above the tail, when I set it up on the wheels, that changed the angle of it, and this was actually dragging. This was actually dragging on the pavement. It wasn't even hitting the bottom of the plane. I didn't realize it. So that's what tore up my servo. When I got home, it was jittering. I plugged it back up, see what was going on with it, and it wouldn't even move. It was locked up, and I turned it a little bit with my hand, and teeth started flying off of it. It's one of them little hobby pros, or tower pros. And that servo was destroyed after that one flight because his horn was dragging, which isn't no big deal on takeoffs because it picked the tail up pretty quick, but it was dragging it pretty bad when it was landing. So I had to build a skid, some popsicle sticks and some 16 gauge galvanized wire. I got me a really heavy duty skid on there now, so I ain't gonna have to worry about dragging that, dragging that horn. I may fly this one again today too, just because it was, it flew so well, I was really surprised. But I just wanted to get this one on video before I went over there, just to, just in case it didn't survive. Just in case this one didn't make it home in one piece, I wanted to go ahead and get some video of this little thing. So uh, I will have my redneck hat cam on. I'll try to keep it in the frame better this time than I did yesterday. I may even get some more video of the other one since I didn't get it in the frame a whole lot. But. I think I'm going to fly both of these today. Fly that one some more and, and maiden this one and see what it does. And then tomorrow or the next day, I may go ahead and maiden that little gremlin thing tomorrow with a three cell in it. I may not wait for the two cell. I, I, it'll probably, I think I may go ahead and put this in it. Fly that one tomorrow. I just got, I got to put a different plug on it and everything, so I'm not going to do it today. But Hopefully I'll get another video tomorrow of a maiden of that one and uh there'll be a maiden flight video with this one up here shortly so hang tight